Yes, indeed. Good evening, one. Good evening, all. It's six o'clock and it can only mean one thing. It's time to open the doors on another one day special. And oh, my word, we have been counting down to this one day special for about two and a half weeks here in the Hachanda Towers. Uh, when Catherine told me this, there was going to be a one day special literally every day. We see the build up, we see the promotions have gone out. You are loving it already. Uh, some of you are already getting the deals that we've got on the show. 10% of the stock has already gone and we are 40 seconds in to our first live hour of 24. What are we talking about? We are talking about Zuri Design Mold Collection, the brand new molds. The first time you're seeing them, you can't get these anywhere else and my word people have been trying to get these hands on these molds to do in other shops to go other places but we've got them here on Hachanda. What are you getting? Let's break all this down. £49.97 are going to get you three moulds. Now, these aren't just any moulds. These are moulds that you are going to use time and time again. They go to minus 75 degrees. They go to up to 240 Celsius. You can pop your clays in them. You can use them for resin. You can even use them if you're only going to use them for food. They are also food safe. Oh yeah, this is what we're talking about. We're talking about the amazing little dragon that you got there, uh, the fire breather. Look at the detail that you've got on the fire breather. Each individual scale, each wing, each feather that you've got there as well. We've got our Catherine in the studio as well. She's going to go through all the details that you need to know on these. Uh, then in the centre, you've got that beautiful peacock. The regal peacock also on the, um, the plinth that you've got there. Once again, the detail that you get with the clays. We've got the clays on the show as well. We've also got other, other items to really embellish them. And then we've got the bee and we've also got the butterfly as well. Very, very busy, but look at that price now. Two flexible payments of £24.90. 275 520 is your item number. Over 10% of the stock has already gone. Right then, let's get straight in with it. Um, save me talking about the lady who's worked with this company from, from the day dot, as it were. Uh, our Catherine's here. She's only known by the one name, just Catherine. Uh, our Catherine is here. Uh, you're so far away. I know. I can just see you, Adam. We're, we're closer in the green room than what we are <laughs> in the studio. Um, we are. So, uh, tell me more about it. I'm so excited. Well... Oh, I'm so excited about it. I really, I've just got to say a, a very big hello to Sophie and her husband Mike as well because I know they're watching from the US. Zuri, a very new company. The dream all started in Sophie's bedroom, would you believe? Um, and she loved working with polymer clay. She loves mixed media. And she wanted something that was very, very different. And that's exactly what we've got with Zuri Moulds. We've spoken already about the different clays that you can add in there, the different mediums you can put in there. I mean, there's all sorts of modelling materials. There's uh, food, edible items as well. But when it comes to your clays, we've got the hearty air drying clay. We've got the coloured clays. We've got polymer clay. We've got air drying polymer. We've even got, got a doll porcelain clay for this uh, one day special as well. So we've got all those different clays. The detail in these moulds are absolutely absolutely incredible and I am just going to pick up actually let me just grab on actually I've dusted them all out so I haven't got one clean right okay we're looking at the molds on the counter so uh, you can see there now when I tell you these are quality molds these are quality molds they will you'll see as I demonstrate um, I'm sure there'll be emails coming in from people that have got the original ones as well we're looking at the fire breather there he is absolutely incredible the detail is absolutely out of this world. It really, really is. Now, the ideas come from Sophie herself, but she has her own designer, so she gives their, their ide her ideas to the designer, and they're created in 3D graphics, and then the moulds are created from there. And when I say everything's got to be absolutely spot on, it really, really does. It really does. I have never seen detail like this. 
You imagine that if you're a cake decorator, imagine it with your fondants or your chocolate. These can go into the freezer as well. You could put water in there or fruit juices and turn them into ice cubes if you wanted. Just imagine that, pieces of fancy artwork at your barbecue maybe made of ice, just incredible. But when it comes to the clays, this is where really, well, we've just got it, we've just got it nailed, I think. That's the only word I can think of right now because whether it's mixed media, whether it's card making, whether it's home decor pieces, whether it's upcycling your furniture, which I love to do, there is a clay for everything. And of course, these, the moulds themselves are absolutely the bee's knees. I can't think of any more words to describe it, really. I'm trying no. to think of all of these things. I can't talk about them enough. They are just incredible. They really are. And this is, oh, see, I've got goosebumps already. This is one <laughs> of those products I really have. I'm so excited. This is, I'm trying to hold it in and be professional. This is one of those projects I really am. This is one of these projects that you know when someone gets hold of, we, as Janny said earlier in the previous hour, we have so many demonstrators here. They're phenomenal at what they do. But Catherine's enthusiasm, Catherine, when Catherine talks about this, yeah, we're all outside work, we're all great mates, and we all text each other. This is constantly what we get. We constantly get photos from our Catherine saying, this is what we're doing, this is what I'm doing, look what I've done now. Look. And it's phenomenal, it really is. But you can only do that when you've got the best of the best. And I'm going to say it out there, these are the best of the best. These are what you are getting. You are getting high quality, top quality, at amazing prices. You're getting the peacock, you're getting the dragon, you're getting basically four molds there that you can use for absolutely anything you want to use them for. 275-520 is your item number. We have really busy phone lines. The quick and the easiest way is tap on the app or jump on the website if I was you. 30% oh, now. 30% of the overall one day special stock has now already gone. We've had message after message on our social medias that we've, we've set alarms. We've had our tea early. We've bathed the kids. They're already in bed so I can sit down and enjoy. Really, many people have been waiting to six o'clock to get their orders in and now we can see them there. Right then, mermaids. We've got the mermaid on the show as well. We've not just got your one day special. We've got many other molds on the show as well. Let's talk mermaids, brand new today as well. Once again, they can go to minus 75, up to 240 degrees as well. They are 100% food grade south and they're LFGB approved as well. Phenomenal, phenomenal designs. For Look at the detail of the scales. The fish element that you've got waving down the bottom. Now, obviously, our Catherine's added on to the mold here because you can see you've got that beautiful fin fish tail at the bottom of the mold. If literally, look at the detail that we have in there. There is so, so much. Um, you've got all those glossy accents. Now, our Catherine will tell us everything we need to know from whether we need to flower them, corn flower them, whether we need to just leave them as they are. Um, absolutely high, high quality. If you have any questions this hour, please do not hesitate to email us, studio to chanda.com. We will pass them all through. What we don't get through this hour, our Catherine is here for 24 hours, we will get to them. If there's something you want to see, we will get to it as well. But your mermaid, very, very busy as well. 18 pounds and 99 pence, 051434 is your item number. A third of the stock of the mermaid has now already gone. Think about your cards, think about your mixed media there as wow there is so much you can do when you get these home there really is as i said food grade safe. that's for me i'm sold in food grade i love to throw a soiree oh i love a good soiree you imagine these in ice cubes you imagine these with your cordial in and you give them to the kids oh there's a little dragon full of cordial just pop it in that water and you'll have an orange squash you'll have a black currant juice it's going to get them drinking. It's going to get them into the zone. And you have now got your own, imagine ice cubes with the shape of a mermaid in that long glass that you've got at home, just floating there. How beautiful would that be? How stunning. Imagine, oh, I've just thought of another one, soap. If you want Missouri on the design team, just ask. I'm there. I'm there. Uh, so, bath bombs. 
Bath bombs, a third of the stock now for the Mermaid. We know, I don't think this is going to last. I really don't think this is going to last 24 hours. Uh, bath bombs, soap, really think outside the box. Don't just think you're air dry clays. There is so much more you can do with these and you're really jumping on board. £18.99, 051434 is your item number. <laughs> Let's move on. Uh, oh my, look how beautiful this is. Another new today. This is um, Blooming Wings at the moment. Before we go into the wings itself, look, oh, blossoming wings, sorry. This is how excited I am. I've got tears in my eyes, I'm that excited. Oh, it's the blooming wings. All oh, that zoo in there, blooming wings. Have you got it, Barbara? Of course I have. So you've got the look at the detail of the wings that you've got in there, though. It's really like a big starburst that you've got. Then you've got that dainty bird in the middle. That beautiful, delicate, sort of like a blue tit in the middle or a little robin there. Then you've got these extraordinary wings that just cascade out with the detail. 20% of the stock has already gone. 19 pounds and 99 pence. 053991 is your item number. Just look, I like the way Catherine's changed the wings on this as well. So she's taken the wings out. If you're thinking, well, that's not the same, because I thought the same as well. But if you look, you've got one of the wings and the bird, but she's taken the wings and popped them on the back of the bird. Because you've still got the feet in there, look, which is the front, which you can see here. But now the wings have been placed onto his back. So you can now manipulate what you put into your mould. What you use this for. 19 pounds, 99 pence, 053. We are very busy on the bird at the moment as well. Very, very busy. Uh, a third of the stock now has already gone. There's queues on the phone. 053991 is your item number for your bird. Right then, now, some that are back. They're all around my brand news. Let's go back by popular demand. You love these the first time round, and my, by Jove, you're loving them again. Now, these are options this time. Same item number. Number 635856 is your item number. 18 pounds and 99 pence. Everything is on extended delivery from the 6th of July, I do have to tell you as well. Save so me keep saying it over and over again. 6th of July on the entire show. But look at the unicorn now. Something very Native American about this unicorn that you've got with the way the mane drapes down for those beautiful cascading locks. But remember, you could also use that unicorn, the mane on there, you could use it on the mermaid. Do it out of air dry clay and start mixing your moulds as well. So your mermaid's got this long flowing hair that runs all the way to her tail. From there, you've got that beautiful horse's face. Don't put your clay in the unicorn's horn and you've got yourself a beautiful horse if you wanted it to be. There is so much you can do. So that is the unicorn that we're looking at the moment. 18 pounds and 99 pence. This is for your silicon moulds as well. Now, we've got your swan in the middle as well. A beautiful, elegant swan that we have on here. Uh, it is absolutely stunning. Uh, I've got the swan. That's a phoenix on this one. Um, we've got this one. I'll find the sample for the swan is what I'll do. Uh, but you've got that beautiful, elegant swan that's already on there. And then you've got the phoenix. A stunning, stunning phoenix that you have on here as well. Once again, that cascading tail that you've got on this phoenix with that beautiful bird rising up out of the ashes on these pots as well. Imagine these as your home decors that you've got. Imagine these on your beautiful, beautiful sort of chest of drawers, as it were, on the front of a cupboard. There is so much that you can use these for. Now also, what I'm thinking now is also think about wedding gifts. That beautiful swan that we've got at the moment, we found the stunning swan. Um, look at that for a beautiful wedding gift. You do two of them facing each other, taking that beautiful love heart in the middle with their wings cascading out. Put your gilding flakes, your waxes upon them, your patinas that you've got. 
18 pounds, 99 pence, 635, 865 is your item number. Uh, butterfly mold is what we're going to look at next as well. Once again, another one packed by popular demand. Um, beautiful butterflies. Uh, that we've got on here now these are the butterflies that are also on the well on this one 60 percent of the stock here is already gone first time we've seen it today already 19 pounds and 99 pence 153927 is your item number but i'll say it again 60 percent of the stock has all ready gone you're getting two molds this time you're getting the two butterflies uh, that's in there once again an old candle that's what it's going to look like. And obviously, I have been um, snazzied all this up. But it's just an old candle. From an old candle that looks like that, which, don't get me wrong, that would look beautiful in the garden. Absolutely stunning. To this. Something different. Something classy. Something stylish. And you can be creating this at home as well. £19 and 99 pence. 153927 is your item number. Um, something you might need, though. As we said, we spoke about using ice, water, chocolate, food safe. Um, what we've also been, what you're going to need, though, if you want to turn them into these beautiful things that our Catherine's done, you're going to need some air dry clay. Now, the air dry clay that we've got on the show is once again and that. Catherine will tell you this when we go over. Uh, we're so far away, so we can't get cameras over there. This, that, and the other. But our Catherine will go through all of our air dry clay when we go over there shortly. But the flowers that you see here are air dry clay. All of these are made from air dry clay. Um, you're getting two packs, two packs on this at £17.99. Uh, 404721 is your item number. And already of the air dry clay, a quarter of the stock has already gone. This is how good this clay is. £17.99, a quarter of the stock has already gone of your air dry clay is what we're looking at here. 040721 is your item number. You're getting both packs. It is air dry clay. And I, I, I know I keep reading myself, but I need to get it across. But don't worry, our Catherine will go through it all. Go through it all. Um, news just in though, I'm gonna have to show you this and we're going over to a demo because we're ridiculously busy. Uh, your one day special, this is not the best picture in the world, but your one day special, a third do we say? A third, a third, over a third of the stock. Oh, they're better, look at those. Look at the detail that you're getting in them. Look at the mold, look at the depth that you're getting in there. Over a third of the stock is now already gone. Right then, that is enough from me. There is more on the show. Check out the website, tap the apps, but if I was you, start pressing record because you're not going to miss. The next few minutes are going to be crucial. If you're just starting your Zuri journey today, what a journey you're about to begin on. What a journey that's going to get you hooked and you're not going to want to stop. And if I'm not mistaken, this is how our Catherine started. <laughs> Oh, do you know, I am just, I knew it was going to be busy. I really, really did. But thank you, everybody. Um, Sophie and Mike, oh, you've got so much work to do. Uh, right, now then, when it comes to the moulds themselves, we've spoken about what you can use them for, but I will keep reminding everybody, there are ways that you work with the moulds. There's hints and tips I can give you, so I'll try and throw as many in as I possibly can along the way as well. Um, a lot of people have been looking at my Facebook pages this week, asking me how I do colouring techniques, um, saying things like, I couldn't do that, you're really good at colouring, but you, I couldn't do that. Yes, you can. We will be going through all of those details throughout the one day special as long as the stock lasts of course but I always like to start right at the beginning I like to start with the mold and the clay and the what to do's and what not to do's so we are going to start with the one day special I've already dusted out a couple of the molds with some corn flour now if you watch me usually and you've seen the clay before you'll know that often I will say when I'm working at home I prefer not to use corn flour in the molds I prefer to let the clay get to a certain consistency before I use it and then I don't need the use of corn flour it's not as easy as that in the studio because we don't know exactly when we're going to be demoing we've got to get everything prepped in advance we can't always get on set when we want to get on set so as a safeguard I am going to dust out now I have done these already but I'm just going to show you just with a paintbrush and just a corn flour or if you're in the US cornstarch of course give the moulds a little bit of a dusting 
Now, if you were using a coloured clay, you would pick up some of that residue on your clay, but you can just wipe that away. You can dust that away. Uh, when the clay has dried, if it's air drying clay, you can certainly let everything dry and then give it a little wipe over with a slightly damp cloth. That will work very, very well. Now, I've dusted up the fire breather and also the peacock. I was going to start with the fire breather. I've already got lots and lots of bits prepped, but I'm actually going to start with the peacock. And the reason being is simply because the clay that I have got is so fresh. This stock is so fresh in. The clay is taking a little bit longer than I'd normally like to dry. So what I'm starting with is the white hearty. Now we do have the colours available as well. We'll work with those as we go throughout the shows as well. But for now, I'm just going to work with the white. Uh, so you, is it two blocks? We're doing twin packs, aren't we? It's a really good deal on this, a really good deal. I would, while we've got stocks, do fill your baskets. Right, what you can see I've done there is just roll that out quite thinly. And I've done that on purpose to allow the air to get to this, the surface. So I give it a few minutes and then I flip it over and let the air get to the surface again. Now, I can't give you an absolute guaranteed time that this clay is going to be at its best for working with because it depends on the humidity, the conditions you're working in. But what I like to say is you get a feel for the clay and you really do. And you'll know what I mean once you get working with it if you've not worked with it before. Now the clay, we've got two enormous packs actually. Because it's a twin pack, 200 grams in each, so you've got 400 grams in total. Uh, right, now then, yes, there's 200 in each pack, so that's 400 in total. When you take this from the pack, and I always like to show you this, I um, do apologise to those that have seen this many times, but it's important for anybody new. Take it from the pack and give it a bit of a stretch. Really get the moisture going in there. There is water content in there. You'll see that it becomes more malleable. But because it's more malleable, that is also trickier when it comes to using the moulds. So, for instance, something like... Um, where is it? Let me just bring this one in. This has actually got some Medina clay already in it. I've got that sat drying. Uh, the little bee's legs. If you went in directly from the pack of clay and did the bee or the butterfly's antennae there, the likelihood is that the clay is going to stretch with the mould. So this is why it's important to get it to the right consistency. So if I went into the mould now straight away from the pack, I would find that is too wet. So what I've done beforehand is just roll some clay out let the surfaces get a little bit uh, a bit of air on them as I say flip it over and go again and now I'm ready to go into the mold now you can work with a flattened piece if you want or you can work with clay that's rolled into a ball but all you need to do is start to push it into the mold now I have used cornflour as I say on this one I've got probably far more clay than I actually need here but that's fine I'm just using fingertips just to push into the mould. I can just take some of that away just so you can see a little bit better. I'm just kind of just folding it in on itself. Now, because there's corn flour and quite a lot of it in this mould, because the clay did feel a little bit wet, you may find that it starts lifting a little bit because, you know, it's, th it's not sticking to anything. But don't worry, just push it back in. It'll be fine. Now, my top tip generally would be to fill the mould right to the top fill all of the areas to the top. Now I do tend to use a rolling pin and I will be using that in a second so I'll be bringing that into flatten down. Now these moulds are very very intricate indeed, very intricate. So you want to make sure that you pick up every tiny little bit of detail. So I'm just using fingertips just to work that into the shape and then I can start pushing it away a little bit and really seeing that defined edge of the mould appearing. Don't worry if it moves around a little bit, that's fine. But once it starts to really sit in there, you can see it's now starting to take shape. Now, if you find it's easy to use a little tool, maybe a, a Dresden tool, which cake makers have, or the end of a paintbrush, a rounded end of a paintbrush would work very, very well. You can do that as well. Um, I tend just to use fingertips as much as possible, but there are occasions where I will use tools as well, and you'll probably see me doing that a little bit as we go throughout these shows. Now, because I'm going across the top of the mould there, you can see where there's not enough clay in there. You can see where it's touching, where it's getting flatter, and you can see the areas where it looks still bumpy. So that tells me, just fill that area up a little bit more, because if I don't fill this right to the top, and I roll over, it may not pick up every little bit of detail. So I'm just going to go again. And you can see that's really starting to flatten down now. Don't be frightened of putting pressure on these moulds. These are made 
to withstand so much pressure they're made to last they are absolutely incredible i will talk to you more about the molds as we go through as well about the the type of silicon the um the grade of silicon and also i must make this very clear actually the certification not only food grade but it's kind of the bees needs bees needs of uh, food grade as well it might not mean a lot to everybody but the fda certificates are what have been given to these molds and that is a big deal right now then i've got the clay in there and you can see it's taking shape now but it is important for me anyway i prefer to tidy up before i take this from the mold so pulling in with a fingertip just pulling in from the edge there just work that just make sure there's some very intricate little feathers on the peacock's tail there so you don't want to drag the clay back out of there now i would normally like my clay a little bit drier than what it is i did <laughs> i did roll it out in good time but it's so fresh that uh, it was taking a little bit longer than i thought it would so hopefully this will pop out quite well there we go what you're looking for is when you flex the mold can you see how that's just lifting away it's literally just lifting away the weak point is going to be the neck of the peacock and also the beak because they're the finer areas so if your clay wasn't dry enough if it was too moist then you will find that as you flex the the mold itself that is the, the area it's going to stretch so I'm just going to kind of work that around do you know that's just going to drop out beautifully let me just sit that on there just have a look at the detail in that peacock it's absolutely stunning absolutely stunning there are areas that you can pick out detail with little gems as i've done on my uh, sample piece as well you can see the pedestal here with the detail on there you can see the eye of the peacock every little bit of feather every tiny bit of detail is there it's incredible right now i am going to put that to one side and we are going to talk about other clays as well what I'm going to do is allow that one to dry and we'll come back to this one and decorate it in another show. Uh, I've got lots of pieces um, already dried out, but I'm waiting to see what happens with stock, to be quite honest with you, because the stock is just flying. But what I am going to bring in, because I'm so worried that this might sell out, is the mermaid. She's absolutely beautiful. She is absolutely beautiful. Right, OK, now then. I am going to change my clay, actually. I'm going to go to the female clay which is polymer clay when it comes to the air dry the hearty air dry it's very lightweight it's a professional grade clay very lightweight indeed don't mix it up with your female i'm just going to pop that out of the way i don't mind leaving these out a little bit for now because i want them to dry a bit but at home please make sure you wrap up your air dry clay polymer clay is different this is the oven baked polymer we've got this available in the white we've also got it in black as well uh, we do have it in a porcelain, which is another kind of off-white, but the black and white is what we're going to show you first of all. Now, what do I use the oven-baked clay for? Well, it's great for detail again. It's sturdy. It's waterproof. You can shape it. You can manipulate it. So it's a really, really good clay. The air-dry clay, perhaps if you're a card maker, then it's good for your cards because it's lightweight. Um, for somebody that's maybe got a little bit of a problem with their hands maybe then the lightweight clay is a little bit easier to work with the air dry clay um, we've also got Medina on the show as well which I'll come back to but what I'm doing here this is the white female you get a big block for your money as well I'm just warming it up I'm conditioning it by conditioning it we just mean warm it up now, my favourite tool for polymer clay is a pasta machine, and I run it through a pasta machine normally at home. Um, you can do clever techniques with that as well, but here at the studio, I'm not going to cheat. I'm just going to use my hands because most of you at home have only got your hands to work with. So all I'm doing is rolling this out to make it very soft and supple. Now, you can tell when it's conditioned enough because if you were to bend it and it was cracking or splitting, it's not conditioned enough. When it's nice... And sort of bendy like that then it's fine so what I'm going to do I'm going to work with the mermaid and it's the same as with the hearty clay actually you could either roll out and then put the clay in or you could go in smaller bits and add it gradually now again I have used some corn flour in this mold but actually with polymer clay you can get away totally without it and it, you don't have to wait for drying time with polymer clay either because it's it's not an air dry clay 
Right. Oh, we, I think we're very busy out there. Has Adam disappeared? I can't see him. He's still in the studio somewhere. Oh, he's there. I can hear him. Oh, right. Now, the mermaid, I knew she was busy, approaching 40% of the stock gone. She's absolutely beautiful. I have got some that I've worked with earlier, but I want to show you with the polymer clay. Now, there's very, very delicate bits of hair that you need to pick out, so do take a little bit of time. As you can see, I'm not going in with one sheet. I'm going in with small amounts and really picking out the detail first of all. So I'm kind of, what I tend to do is, is shape the clay a little bit. If I see a shape like that little curl on her hair there, I tend to roll it out and feed it in and then just sort of push into there. And once you've got the hair in, the rest of it is quite nice actually just to work with. Now there are one or two little tiny areas where the clay won't want to cover. So it's little gaps in between her arms, um, where the shell is that she's holding in her hands. They're only small, you can just see where two are poking up there now. So where they are, when you flatten your clay out, if you find any of the mould itself is actually coming through, that's what it is, it's meant to be there, it's meant to be a little gap. So I'm just going to continue, there's another one there, look where the shell is. So just make sure with your finger that you, you do push that clay well in there and you do sort of make sure you're filling up nicely so you can see where those little posts are. Now what I love doing, and I've done it with most of the samples, is adapt the moulds. So for instance, the mermaid, I did extend a tail. The bird, if you remember, when Adam went around the counter, um, I changed the wings so it looked like the, the bird was landing rather than in full flight. Um, the dragon I've shaped, the fire breather has been shaped as well. So there are other ways of working with the moulds. They're absolutely stunning as they are, just to use them exactly as they're meant to be. But do look at other options as well. So I'm just going to continue putting the last of this clay in here and then I'm going to give you a little tip for polymer clay and for how to get it out of your moulds easily. Now if you think back to the beginning, Adam did say, and he's quite correct, these moulds will withstand a lot of heat and also they'll go in freezers. When it comes to the heat, about 240 degrees centigrade I believe it is, when you bake polymer clay, which is the sort I'm using now, it only needs to be baked at 120 degrees, 110 to 120. That means you can actually bake the clay within the mould. So if you're worried about getting the, the clay out of the mould and distorting things, just put the whole thing in the oven. If you're wanting to make lots of the same thing quickly, then obviously you can release it before you put it in the oven. Just put it onto a baking tray. Right, so we're about there. I'm going to just go over the top again with a rolling pin. You can see again where the clay is making contact there with the rolling pin. And it's the same process. I would still just use a fingertip to pull in from the edge and tidy that up a little bit. Right, we're going to release this one. Just around there with my finger. There we go. There we go. Now then, because this is polymer clay, I could release that just as it is because that, that little bit of um, cornstarch or corn flour is also in there. Just being very careful where her hair is. But at home, as I say, if you wanted to, if you wanted to put this in the oven as it is, then you could do. Now look at the detail there. Now I am going to change a bit. I think we're going across to Adam for a little while first and then we're going to continue this one on. So I'm going to continue working with the mermaid but I'm going to adapt a tail so we'll show you how to do that once we come back from Adam. I'm lost for work. I was sitting here flabbergasted. Fla I, could sit, I could sit and watch this for hours. I really, really could. Um, it, uh, I'm just gutted I'm so far away. I literally the other end and I have to watch it on the, on the screen. I'm just like you. I've got a screen right in front of me and I'm watching it on there. But how well can you see all that detail? How beautiful is that detail? And if that's coming across on your TV, you imagine when you get these home. You imagine that first time you press that air dry clay into that mould. You peel it back and what do you see? You see each individual feather. You see the eye of the peacock. You see that tiny little beak 
and it's all there for you. Over 40% of the stock has now gone. This is meant to last another 24 hours, but we are very, very busy. 275520 is your item number. Two flexible payments of £24.99 today will get you three beautiful moulds, where in fact you are getting four of the actual silicon moulds themselves. You're getting three of them, but this one you're getting two. So you're getting that bee and you're getting that beautiful butterfly as well. We are very, very busy for your one day special today. Over 40% of the stock has gone. We've still got queues on the phones as well. If I was you, I'd jump to the website or tap the app and please be patient with us. Right then, we're moving to the mermaid early for the sheer fact over half the stock of the mermaid has now already gone. Half the stock that we had in 35 minutes has now already gone. Look at the detail that you are getting in this mermaid. Look, you can see her features, you can see her lips to the nose and her eye, her wispy hair as it flows through the sea. You can see it, can't you? You can see the detail, you can hear the story in your mind. The mermaid tail that you've got there, how it beautifully elongates down the bottle. Our Catherine's gonna show you this as well as we're going on throughout the demonstrations. That's what we're gonna go back to and see how to elongate that tail of your mermaid. Right then, blooming wings, Blossoming wings. I just like say I just like saying it now, just to see if anyone's listening. Uh, blooming wings is what we're talking about. And you were, you corrected me the minute I said it. Uh, over forty percent of this has now already gone. Um, I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. Nineteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Um, I think people are multi-buying, or they're using that flexible basket on your one-day special and popping these in. If you're using that flexible basket, this will now be uh, nine ninety-nine. Nine ninety-nine. Yeah, I, I'd go for that. Nine ninety-eight. Nine ninety-eight. It's nineteen ninety-nine to so take off a penny. Nine ninety-nine. That was right the first time. I'm like Carol Vorderman, don't date yourself, Adam. Uh, nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. If you're popping it in that flexible basket with your one-day special, and by Jove, why wouldn't you? Really, why wouldn't you? Look at the details. Now, if you're thinking this one looks slightly different, uh, Catherine's taken the wings and popped them on the back of the bird, as it were. If I turn that to there and lift it up a bit. Look at the detail that you've got in there as well. And all that foliage that you see, they're in the wings. They are already in the wings. It looks like a bird in flight that's just flying through the hedge. It's flying past that beautiful rose bush that's just coming out in bloom in your garden. Ooh, lovely. 19 pounds and 99 pence, 053991 is your item number. Now, uh, when Catherine couldn't see me, it's because I was getting another crate uh, to prop up our unicorn that we've got here as well. So you can now see all three of the beautiful finished samples that we got. Now, these are individuals. It's the same item number. 635856 is your item number. Then you just have to pick either the unicorn Look at that. You imagine using all your sprays, your texture pastes. You also use your, your shimmers and your shines that are in there as well. Then we've got the beautiful swan. I love the swan. This is a beautiful, beautiful piece. It reminds, you imagine doing this in the porcelain. Oh, how beautiful would that be? Oh, I've just thought, imagine having a little old plate that you don't know what to do with. You think you're going to throw it away? Don't. If it's a pure white plate and you do it in that beautiful white porcelain, pop it in the centre, it'd be, oh, it'd be stunning. Stand them up, do two and place them together so you've got that 3D element in the middle of your plate and then rise like the phoenix that we've got in there as well. You do these in your deep reds, your deep oranges, your burnt colours as it glides through the... Oh, I think they're beautiful. I really, really do. And just look at the quality that you're getting here. Now go to the high street. How much would you pay for a vase like this? How much would you pay for a vase that you can now create yourself? Now, you've been busy as well sending us images. Even though we didn't ask for them, we still love them. We love when you send stuff in and we don't even ask. Because spontaneity between you are beautiful. Our Sylvia has sent these in. Oh... She's saying thank you so much for bringing the Zuri Moulds to her chanda again. You're welcome, Sylvia, my love. Um, she would 100% recommend 
and that's a viewer just like you sitting at home now. <gasps> that's that unicorn look. Look at the unicorn that she's got there. I think she's made the I think she's made the headdress slightly bigger. Do you think, Catherine? Can you see your monitor from there? Mm. Oh yeah, she has. She's she's made it she's made it slightly bigger. She's elongated the mine there to make it slightly slightly bushier, which is beautiful. Uh, butterflies up next. Are these viewers or is this me? Oh, it's me. Uh, so I thought we oh I thought oh, we had more pictures. Uh, limited stock. Limited stocks. What? Once it's gone, it's gone. Once it's gone, it's gone. Single figures. Now I got told off saying this, so I'm going to say it again. Less than nine. Well, if we see less than, less than five, I'm going to go in with numbers because if you want them, you need to get them. Less than four. Oh, here we go. Less than four. Get them while you can. Limited stock. I've got four left. If you want them, get them. Well, I've got two left. These are going to go. Once they've gone, they have gone. £19.99. 153927 is your item number. Two moulds is what you're getting for the price of one. I've got two left. If you want these, get in quick. Once they're gone, they have gone. This is not be a phone call that we will make. This is not a phone technical sellout. Gone. If any bounce back, I will let you know. But it is now a technical sellout on your butterflies. Well, I might, I might as well keep it myself, right? And I, because it's technically sold out, and you know, times are hard, friends are few. Um, I'll keep that myself. Air dry clay is what we're talking about next, though. So we're now talking about your air dry clay. Now, this is what our Catherine used in the first demonstration for, well, for, uh, yeah, for our first demonstration when we did the peacock. Um, it's also made out of these flowers. The flowers that you see next to them are also made out of the same air dry clay. This is not just set design. This is not to make the air dry look pretty. This is made from the clay themselves. They're absolutely beautiful. I'm just hearing my ear now, they just thought they were set dressing. Now, Catherine spent a lot of time making these, so we've had them out. Uh, these are flowers. It literally looks like the stuff, that, it's stuff that we would buy that you see dressing our set at the moment. Look at those and then, look at these, the ones we bought. <laughs> I say bought. <laughs> uh, but look at that. How real, and these are foam. These are foam flowers. These are air dry clay. Catch clay. I'm joking. So, <laughs> uh, so <laughs> bless her. Uh, very busy for your air dry clay. Um, Seventeen pounds and ninety nine pence. Zero four zero seven two one is your item number. Right. Calm down. Breathe. Okay. It's now time to have a, have a oh, 40% gone of the clay. We left that till last minute. 40% uh, of the clay have already gone. Right, sit back, breathe, okay? Take a sip of your tea, because I know you're sitting on the edge of your seat. You don't drink in case you miss anything. Have a little sip while we all sit together and watch this. Flexi Order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Oh, thank you, Adam. Yes, we are very, very busy out there, I can't tell you. In fact, the one-day special approaching half of the stock has now gone. Um, just before I carry on with the demonstration, I just want to mention about the, the uh, Medina air dry as well. So if you look at this little butterfly, this is the butterfly. Have we got any of these left, the butterfly? How did it sell out? It's gone, hasn't it? 
just to show you that Medina clay, the air dry, that this doesn't have to go in the oven at all. You can still paint it, you can still add all those mediums, but it is almost indestructible. I mean, I can really bend that. It's waterproof. This is great for outside. So I did want to try and get across the different uses for the different clays. It's a very different clay to work with in the moulds, though. I've got some that sat that is literally drying in the moulds because it is difficult. It does stick even with corn flour, but we'll come back to that throughout the shows, I'm sure, as we go along. But don't let it put you off. If you want something that's for exterior use, then the Medina air dryer is a really, really good clay to go for. Right, now then, obviously I started with the mermaid there. This is the white female. This is the oven baked polymer now, but you can do exactly the same thing with the hearty air dry clay. Now, just a little reminder as well for anybody, the hearty clay will shrink as it dries. It's because of the, the water content in there. The more you allow the clay to dry out before you put it into your mould, the less shrinkage you're going to see as well. So that's another reason why I like to let the air dry clay dry a little bit more. But if I just put those two together, you can see the difference in size. So if I just pull that down so you can see, it's about, I don't know, it's about 7% difference, something like that, 7 to 10% difference when, when it dries under normal, normal circumstances. Now what I'm about to do, you can do with any of the clays, doesn't matter which one. So this is the female polymer that I did before we went back to Adam. But what I've also been doing, as we've been uh, just doing a bit of a recap there, I've taken some extra bits of tail. So all I've done there is just choose various areas of the mould. In fact, I'm just going for the bottom fin here at the moment. Uh, so remember, this is the female polymer, the, air, the oven bait one. Just 30 minutes in an oven. You don't need any specialist equipment whatsoever. Just a home oven. You can bake in the moulds, as I've said, or you can take it out of the moulds and bake onto a baking tray. So if you're really, really worried about getting things out of the moulds, then do, of course, bake in the mould itself. Oh, just seen some really nice things down my earpiece there. <laughs> Oh, Kim, Kim and I in the gallery. I'm not going to tell you what she said, but she's going to have me crying in a minute. That's if she doesn't cry first. Right, you know, I'm so passionate about this. I really, really am. I do hope it comes across. It's not false. I just, when it comes to clay, when it comes to working with any mediums and um, quality products, then I am so passionate. And I can't tell you how honoured I am that I was chosen to represent Zuri. I honestly can't tell you. Uh, it just... It's just fantastic. Right, okay. No more of that silliness now, because before we do start crying. Uh, right, okay, so what I'm going to do here, you can see again, because this is the, the polymer, I can just take that out. Detail is absolutely beautiful. Now, I, I can cut into that. I don't have to use every bit. A pair of scissors or a craft knife would work. So here's my original. So that's the beautiful mermaid as she comes straight from the mould. But I want to give her a little bit of shape. So you can tweak what you've got. Now, being polymer clay, that will hold quite nicely as it is. You can see it's holding its shape. But when that goes in the oven, the heat will get to it and it will start to flatten out. So you need to support things a little bit. So what I'm going to do is take the next piece of the fin. And I've, I've got no set design here. I'm just going to sort of play around with it a little bit and see what I think. So if I need to lose any bits, I can do. Another reason I don't like using the cornstarch or the corn flour in the mould with the polymer clay is because it won't stick to itself and you don't want to be using any glues or anything like that. But if you just a little bit of pressure without squashing the detail will allow the clay just to adhere to itself. So I quite, I quite like that actually. I think, I think that's going to work. So then we'll go again. Just depends how long a tail I want to give my little mermaid. Um, I think... You know, I'm going to just move her up a little bit. I'm leaving her on this book just so that you can see. So I'm just going to, I think we'll go with another full piece there. And again, that is holding shape beautifully. Let's just give a little bit of a, a curl there. So with your air dry clay, do exactly the same thing. And then I think for the final piece of tail, I'm actually going to just take a section of this. So I'm going to cut away a little area there so it leaves me kind of that smaller frilly bit at the bottom let's just catch that there so she's really got some beautiful movement if you wanted to change where the curls are a little bit lift those maybe you could do now what I would recommend is take some clay especially 
as I say, when the heat gets to this, it's going to make it collapse a little bit in the oven. Uh, so anywhere where you want to give support, you can use extra bits of clay or if it's polymer clay, you can use bits of rolled up tin foil. That would work really, really well. For your air dry clay, if it holds its shape on its own, that's fine. If it doesn't, again, little balls of clay, just to give it that little bit of support. Do you know, I'm just going to add a little bit more under here. Just make sure you can't see these because once you take it out of the oven or once it's air dried, depending on the clay that you're using, it is worth keeping these supports in place. So I'm just giving that fin a little bit more movement there as well, just adding that support. Now I do promise that we will show you or I will show you some colouring techniques as we go throughout, but I think the first show we expected it to be busy. I think to talk about the different clays, the hints, the techniques is very, very important. But there we are. We have that beautiful mermaid with an extra long tail now. Now, if you did see the sample a little bit earlier, um, I had worked her onto a bottle. <laughs> I have got another bottle with me. I promise this was empty when I arrived. I was a little bit nervous about the shows, but I promise it was empty. <laughs> <laughs> but what you could do obviously is work if you've got the shape of something or a vase would work very well or a gift box you could work the mermaid and then the tail around a vase or a bottle so that it takes to the shape just hopefully we can just oh So you can see, hopefully, on here. So you, this one is actually air dry clay, not polymer clay. So you can see I've done exactly the same thing, shaping the tail there. The colouring technique is very easy to do. We will cover that. Um, so look at the things that you've got. Recycle those bottles. Put your your um, creations onto frames. You know, upcycle your frames and that sort of thing as well. There's so much you can actually do. Now, I'm not sure, I've got to be very careful I don't mix up my polymer clay with my air dry clay here because they're very different. Right, now I'm hoping my air dry is dry enough now for the fire breather because I want to show you something a little bit different with this one as well. Now, the fire breather, oh, so many people have been waiting for him. I can tell you it's part of the one day special and we're approaching half of the stock now gone half of the stock on the one day special itself. Right, now because I've had this clay rolled out to let the air get to it, I'm just kind of working it in from a sheet again, rather than a ball. But usually I do actually start with a ball, but I'm just gonna kind of fold it in and work it. There's no right or wrong. Just do what's comfortable to you. Now if it does lift up, the reason it's lifting is because now this has got quite dry, this clay, and there's a lot of corn flour in my mould, so it will not want to stick. So if you find it's lifting too much, just keep pressing it down or give the clay a little bit of a stretch again to, to get the moisture going, because once you manipulate the clay again and the moisture gets going, it will make it stickier again. So you can do that. If you by accident leave your clay too long and it goes too dry, which actually I do put really quite dry clay into the moulds, but if you do have a problem, spritz with some water, work the water into the clay, you can revive it. You won't be able to bring it back when it's completely dry. I've tried. I tried it yesterday again, just in case. <laughs> right, now when it comes to the fire breather, there's two little horns on his head that are very delicate. So I did talk about tools earlier. So a ball tool would work very well. A Dresden tool, if you've got cake decorating tools, would work very well. Um, if you've got the rounded end of a paintbrush, that's another great tool. So you can do that as well. Now there are certain areas within the fire breather that are quite shallow and some bits are a little bit deeper. So let me just get a little bit more there. Oh, now then, I believe we've got some more viewers photos, have we? Oh, do you know what? If you've been looking at my Facebook pages this week, we've had so many people posting lovely comments and talking about the shows and uh, posting things that they've been making as well, using the moulds that have already been out. So I can't wait to see what you all do with the one day special and these moulds, these new moulds. 
Right, okay. Now, do take a little bit of time with the fire breather because there are some intricate parts here. There are a couple of those little posts there as well. There's one. So you can see where the wings are. So what I tend to do is just, 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 just pull away with a fingertip there. Now, I know we're almost at the end of the show. I'm going to have to rush this one out. <laughs> do you know... I might run out of time this this hour because Adam needs to do a bit of a last recap. Do you know what? Eight o'clock tonight. Come back. We'll do a reveal with the fire breather. We'll do a little bit of um, technique with colours as well. Where's this hour gone? Flown by. It's flown. Fla see, dragon, flown. See, seamless link. Uh, come back at 8 o'clock if you're thinking, well, how do I get it by 8 o'clock? If you've got a smart TV, press your red button. That will take you back to that. If you uh, watch us on Facebook as well, you can also do that as well. Um, right then, we've only got 15 seconds left. Check out your baskets. I really don't want you to miss out on these deals. Busy across the board. We've already had one sellout. This is your one-day special.